Welcome to this video on the kidneys and we're going to start by looking at the overall orientation and anatomical position of the kidneys. So here we see the thoracic cavity and the diaphragm. Below the diaphragm of course we have the abdominal cavity. But the kidneys are actually behind the peritoneal membrane. So the peritoneal membrane of the abdomen would actually be in front there, the peritoneal sac. And the kidneys are behind that, the kidneys are retroperitoneal. And we notice that we have the spleen up there. And then above each kidney we have the suprarenal or the adrenal glands. So here we have the left kidney and the right kidney. And we notice the major blood vessels from which the kidneys derive their blood supply. So going down here in red, on the left side, we have the abdominal aorta. Going through the diaphragm from the thoracic aorta above, of course, derived from the left ventricle. So we see the abdominal aorta going down here. And we notice that there's a single artery branches off going directly to the left kidney. This is the left renal artery. And it's the same on the other side with the right renal artery going to the right kidney. And we also notice this large venous vessel in the abdomen, the inferior vena cava carrying blood back up towards the right atrium. And again, we notice that there's a large vein leaving the kidney, feeding directly back into the inferior vena cava. And it's the same on the right side where there's a large renal vein draining the blood directly back into the inferior vena cava. And the kidneys do have a very large blood supply. In fact, probably 20 to 25% of cardiac output goes to the kidneys, even though they're relatively small organs. Because, of course, their function is to filter blood and produce the urine. So the urine is produced in the kidneys. And if we take the right kidney, for example, once the urine is produced, it's going to go down the right ureter here. The wall of the ureter is muscular and there's peristaltic activity. Transports the urine from the kidney down and then the ureters are going in behind the bladder, draining into the urinary bladder down in the pelvis. And it's the same on the left side. The urine is produced in the kidney, goes down the ureter into the back of the bladder prior to voiding via the urethra. And if we take a look at the kidney in a little more detail in cutaway section here, we can see that the kidney is composed of an outer cortex and an inner medulla. And then there are these tube-like structures leading away from the medulla. These are the calyces. So one would be a calyx, several are calyces. So the urine is produced via the renal medulla, goes into the calyces and into this central area in the kidney here, which is the renal pelvis. From the renal pelvis, the urine goes down the ureters towards the urinary bladder. So that's the overall orientation, blood supply and venous drainage of the kidney. 